Hello Lyric Services, Trisha Warner here with your weekly Pilates work. And today we're going to be focusing on our slow twitch muscle fibers. So many of you may not know that our muscles have different types of um, muscle fibers and uh, they have different benefits. So today we're gonna to be focusing on our slow twitch muscle fibers, which are primarily responsible for our endurance. So you also have fast twitch muscle fibers, which work on power and explosiveness. And we're gonna to touch base with those muscle fibers next week. Today, we're starting with the slow twitch muscle fibers. So a lot of what we're gonna be doing today is moving really slowly and mindfully and really um, working to improve the endurance of those muscles and the stability of the joints controlling those muscles. So they have a lot of benefits and it's important to work both. Um, we tend to do a little bit more slow twitch, I think, muscle work with Pilates in general um, than we do fast twitch, but uh, sometimes when we get into more of those advanced movement um, exercises, and we start increasing tempo and, and uh, we get more into those fast twitch when we start doing, uh, like on the reformer, we do jump board and things like that. But we're gonna simulate some um, endure, I mean, um, fast twitch power muscles next week. So we're just gonna start with a little bit of a roll down just to kind of explore um, the length in the um, back of our body. So you're gonna stand up nice and tall, inhale, feel the length and the evenness throughout your body. As you exhale, you're going to nod your chin to your chest and then slowly round your shoulders, lowering up and over your body one vertebrae at a time until you're moving all the way forward. Move slowly if you're not warm. Bend your knees if you need to. Come down just as far as you feel comfortable. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, go ahead and tuck your tailbone round your back, rolling up one vertebrae at a time until you're standing nice and tall. Let's do that again. Inhale to length. We're gonna need our hamstring length today. Exhale, knock. So that's what we're doing this for today, is just to find a little bit of flexibility down the back of our legs. And pause here, take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone and roll up one vertebrae at a time until you're standing nice and tall, and I think one more should do it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, nod your chin and round and keep the length as you find that flexion. Ah, there we go. <laughs> and exhale, rolling all the way back up. Good, roll those shoulders up and back. Make nice little circles. So, but of course, um, I said we're focusing on these slow twitch muscle fibers for endurance work, but like always, you're gonna get a total body workout with me today. All right, we're coming down to the floor and we're gonna start on our back and we're just gonna get a little pelvic rocking here. So knees bent, feet hip width apart. As you inhale, you're gonna rock your pelvis forward. Tailbone goes down towards the floor, creating a nice little space in your low back. As you exhale, you tip your pelvis the other way. Low back comes down towards the mat. Inhale to find some space. Exhale to bring your low back down to the mat. And keep going back and forth, nice and easy. Just getting warmed up here for the work. Finding a little bit of mobility in that lumbar spine that can get stiff when we sit. So it should feel good, like always with Pilates, it should feel good if it doesn't don't do it. <laughs> That's a good rule of thumb. That's what I love about it. It should, feels good. Okay, so now we're gonna keep that neutral spine and then stretch your leg out one at a time, all the way out. Opening up those hip flexors, feeling that leg through your whole spine. And then float your hands behind your head. We're coming into a chest lift. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, you're going to slowly lift your head just an inch. Nod your chin a little bit. Then peel your spine up and away from the floor as you gaze down between your feet. And then roll it back down. Four more like this. Exhale, chest lift. Two, 
We're going really slow today. Rolling down, lowering one vertebrae at a time. So you lift as you exhale, peel the back away, pull the rib cage down towards your pelvis, engaging those deep abdominals as you roll back down. We have two more. Slowly, inhale, roll down. The last one we're gonna hold. Exhale, lift and hold. Put a little weight into your left heel. Push that heel down into the mat. And then the right foot is gonna float up off the floor, just about a foot. And then lower it back down. We've got five, really super slow motion. Two, three, we are building endurance in these hip flexors. Four, we're going a little higher today. And five, put that leg down, roll down through your spine, come down, relax your head. Open your elbows and just kind of jiggle wiggle around a little bit. Let any tension go. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Float the elbows up off the floor. Find the length and turn that, those abs on. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, slowly lift your head and your shoulders up away from the floor. You're gazing down towards your feet. Right heel pushes down into the floor. Left foot floats one inch, I mean one inch, one foot off the floor five times. Slow up, slow down. Two. Three. These are so much harder when they're slow. Four. And last one. Can't use momentum, you have to control it. And then rolling all the way back down. Excellent, bend your knees in, feet are flat. Arms come down by your side, palms facing the floor. We're coming into our femur arcs here and we're doing them slowly, you guessed it. Float one leg up into tabletop. Make sure you have your neutral spine, check it out. Roll, tip forward, back. Make sure it's a neutral, hold it. And then float the other one up. You're already working right here, right? We're working. Now we're gonna lower one leg, just moving the hip, keeping the back perfectly still. Inhale that toe down to the floor. Point the foot, feel the toe will hit the floor, barely, and then lift it back up. And lower, keep the neutral spine, and lift that foot back up. We're going slow. We're doing five, three, four, and five, pause here, switch to the other side, lower and lift five times, one. Sometimes we move too quickly to target these slow twitch muscles. Two, super slow mo, three, four, and tap that toe, five, lift it back up. Keep the position, if you need a break, take it. Otherwise, flex your feet. Same thing. Now we're leading with our heel and your heel is going to tap the mat and come back up. Inhale down, keep that back engaged. And three. Oh yeah, these hip flexors and quads are working, yes? Four. And five. Good, pause here. Other leg, lower and lift five times. One, don't hold any tension in your shoulders or your neck. Two, can you see me shaking? <laughs> Three, four, I love them. And five, that means I need it. Good, draw your knees in towards your chest. Gently rock your legs side to side or circle, whatever feels good. And circle the other way. We're coming into double leg stretch next, which um, we're gonna just slow down. It is more of a power move. So we'll do it next week, more for the fast twitch muscle fibers. But today we're gonna do it slow. Coming back to those abs, you ready? Hold on to the tops of your knees, inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders. As you push your knees into your hands, you're gonna find a nice little frame with your arms and you're pulling your knees in, but pulling your belly button away from your thighs. 
We're gonna inhale and reach our arms and legs out on a diagonal. As you exhale, you're gonna circle your arms around and then bend your knees back into your cannonball position here. Inhale, reach them away. Exhale, circle and slowly draw them back in. We're just doing five. Your neck might get tired after that. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle. That was four, right? Last one. Good. All right. We're going to um, grab our weights now. We're coming into side line. So you're going to need, um, you may need to pause the video. You're going to need a one or a two pound weight. Grab two. Cans of soup, water bottles work great. I'm going to use these toning Pilates balls here. And we're going to lay on our side for some sideline work. So I'm going to give you a couple of variations here because I know some people are just joining the program and some have been doing it this whole time. So um, for the newer people, you're going to bend your elbow under your head. And if that's not enough, you could also put a pillow under your head. You want to feel like you're in a good straight line from your nose to your sternum to your pubic bone down to between your feet. All right, so you can bend that arm and keep your legs out straight and strong and keep your hand down on the floor in front of you. For those of you who want more of a challenge, you could do any one of these. You can extend this bottom arm out straight. You can keep this hand here or to make it even more advanced, bring it up to your hip. So I'll show you the more advanced version, I'll try. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Because right here, you can already see me like tipping, tipping. It requires a lot of core stability to hold your position in this um, sideline position while moving your legs. So if it gets too hard, put this hand down or bend this elbow. Let's start with a little bit of a challenge. You won't get hurt. It's a safe exercise. Both legs are straight and strong. Go ahead and turn them on. And then we're going to float that top leg up super slow. Lift it up and down. So let's count this out. Let's come up one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four. Four more, lift it up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, last one, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, pause there. Grab your weight arm is coming up on your side and your arm is straight. You're going to lift your arm slowly up to the ceiling. From here, you're going to keep your arm straight and lower the arm down in front of your body. So now it's getting really hard to hold this stacked position here and lift it back up. I might need to bend my elbow. Let's try it there and come back down. And that's what's great about having these modifications and progressions. We can kind of add them in or subtract them as we need to. I, I found that I was creating a little tension in my neck. And that's not where I wanted the work to come. I want it in my arm and my shoulder blade and my core. So I just bent my elbow to support my head and turn those neck muscles off a little bit and come back down. Good. Ooh, rolling back. All right. Keep your balance. Lift that arm up and lower it down in front of you. And lift it back up to the ceiling and lower it back down. Just keep going. It's kind of mindful, maybe centering, relaxing a little bit work. Whereas when you're working the fast twitch muscle fibers, it's maybe a little more entertaining. It depends what you like, I guess. I like moving slow and controlled. To me, this is, this feels good. 
It takes a little more for me to work my fast twitch muscle fibers. Let's do two more, but I will, and I will show you because it's important to work both. I don't have a lot of power and speed and agility so much anymore. I used to be a college athlete and I had a lot of power and speed and agility, but it's important to keep it as best we can. I find as a working mother, endurance is more important. <laughs> Bend your elbow in, keep your arm close to your body, lower the weight down towards your stomach and then lift it back up. And we're gonna go down, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, Feel that rotator cuff working. We got two more. Two, three, four. Up, two, three, four, and down. Two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Good job. You can put that weight down. We're coming back to the legs. So change your position however you like. Float the top leg off the bottom leg. We're going to inhale as we slowly kick this top leg forward in front of us. Exhale as you kick it back behind you. And kick is maybe too powerful of a word. We're gonna reach and move. Inhale, float it forward. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, bring it back. All the while, keeping your balance up on this hip here. Four. can do it. Seven, eight, two more. And then I'll give you a nice stretch. How's that? And 10. Since we're building so much endurance in the, the top side of our body right now, let those legs come down. Give them a good squeeze and then lift them both up and away from the floor and slowly bring it down. So we're gonna go up one count, one down, two, three, four. We're working the eccentric phase, two, three, four. Up one, down, 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 two, three, four. Two more, down, two, three, four, and last one, two, three, four. Here's your stretch, <laughs> bend your knees and get comfy like you're sleeping. Let's bring both hands behind our head today. Take a nice deep breath in, feel that length in your spine. As you exhale, open your shoulders up to the ceiling, moving that shoulder blade towards the floor so you feel a nice stretch, keeping the hips and knees still and stacked. And then come all the way back. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, open your chest up to the ceiling, moving that shoulder blade towards the floor. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come back. Last one here. Inhale. Exhale, come back. Nice job. We're gonna push ourselves up, switch around to the other side. Keep your weight handy. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So, arm is out or tucked under, however you prefer. I think I'll start here. All right, legs are straight and strong, right? We're gonna move a little quicker on the side, but not the movement, just from one to the other, because I already explained them. Lift that top leg up, I have a lot to get to, and lower it back down. But this super slow motion takes time, right? Two, and up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, 
and five, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, and six, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, and seven, two, three, four, and down, two, four, and eight, two, three, four, and down, two, three, nine, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, pause here, grab your weight, and bring your arm up on your side, keep your arms straight as you lift the weight up to the ceiling, lower it down in front of you, lift it back up to the ceiling, and lower it back down, Good, and lift, and lower, and lift, and down, and lift, and lower, and lift, and down. Good, lift, and lower, and lift, and down, and lift, and lower. Lift and down two more and lift and lower and lift and down. Last one lift and lower and lift and down. Good. Bend the elbow halfway. Keep it close to your body. Lower the weight down to your stomach and lift it up two, three, four and down two, three, four. Up two, three, four, and three, two, three, four. Up two, three, four, and four, two, three, four, and up two, three, four, and five, two, three, four. And up two, three, four, and six, two, three, four. Two, three, four, and seven. These rotator cuff injuries are so common. Keep going, eight, two, three, this is such a wonderful way to prevent it. And up, two, three, four, last one, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, and put the weight down. Bring your arm back up or in front, wherever you prefer. Top leg floats off the bottom leg. You're gonna inhale the leg forward, exhale the leg back. And the reason why we're exhaling on the way back is because I want your abs active and supporting your back so you're not arching and you're just extending the hip when you come back. And back, two, three, four, and forward, two, four, and back, two, three, four, and five, two, three, four, and back, two, four, and six, two, three, four, and back. Three, four, see if you can make it a little bigger. You can see I'm starting to get a little more range here as I get comfortable with the movement. And back, two, three, four, two more. Two, four, and back, two, three, four. Last one. And back, two, three, four, good. Bring those legs together, give them a good squeeze. Lower them down to the floor, lift them up. Down two, three, four, lift one, down two, three, four, lift one, down two, three, four, and four, down two, three, four, and five, down two, four, and six, down two, and seven, down two, three, four, and eight, down two, three, four, nine, down two, three, four, last ten, two, three, four, woo! Good job. All right, coming onto your belly, let's prop ourselves up on our elbows and just get a nice little spine stretch here. You could tuck your toes under, and get a little stretch through the bottom of your feet here, that fascia that people tend to get plantar fasciitis here. It's a nice way to just kind of stretch out the bottoms of your feet. Feel a little stretch in your toes, kind of press them back gently. It should feel like a nice stretch, certainly nothing painful or uncomfortable. Pull your shoulder blades down away from your ears so that you have a nice long neck. Feel a good stretch through the front of the body here. Maybe nod your head a little bit, get a little neck range of motion while we're here. 
we're gonna keep that stretch on the bottom of our feet just another few seconds to get a permanent lengthening in that connective tissue. Okay, press your hands underneath your body, push yourself into all fours position. Grab one, actually let's do the, this one first and then we'll come to our weights. So um, hands are right under your shoulders, knees are right under your hips. We're gonna do alternating arm and leg lifts and they're slow. <laughs> so you're gonna extend your right leg as you extend your left arm, keeping your balance. And then lower them back down, keep them straight till they barely touch the floor and then lift them back up slowly. Two, three, four, and down. Two, three, four, and lift. Two, three, four, and down. Two, three, four, and lift. Two, three, four, and down. Two, three, four. We got four more. And down. Keep breathing. And lower. Got two more. And last one. This is not easy and lower all the way down. Put that knee down, switch to the other arm and leg. So extend the right arm and the left leg if you were doing the same side as me. Pull those tummy muscles in, keep the back nice and flat. Lower the straight arm and leg back till they touch the mat just barely and then lift it up. And then once you see what I'm doing, you're gazing straight down to the mat so we're not overextending the neck. Lift, three, and lift two, three, four, and down, and up, and down, and up, and six, two, three, four, and lift two, three, four, and lower, three, four, and lift two, three, four, this is eight, you got it, and lift, and lower, and lift, Last one, and lift. Good job, put your hands and leg down. Sit your hips back, stretch it all the way out. Come into a nice child's pose. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, coming back up onto all fours, you're gonna grab your weight. Arm is straight out to the side. You're gonna lift it up so it's just kind of equal with the height of your back. And we're doing little pulses here. Lift it up and down three inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch to the other side. Bring that arm straight out to the side. Lift it up to the height of the shoulder. Lower and lift ten times. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. You're going to come all the way up into standing. We're going to do some calf raises here and a little bit of balance. So, standing with your feet pretty close together, a little narrower than hip width apart. We're going to work these calf muscles. We stretch the bottom of the feet. Now we're ready to move them. So, we're going to lift our heels up. One, two, three, four, you guessed it. Down, two, three, four. Lift up, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. And lift, two, three, four, and down. Now, if you need to, look down at your feet and make sure that your ankles are straight up over your second toe and then they're not wobbling out to the side. I can do it pretty good like this. <laughs> and down, two, three, four. Lift, two, three, four, and lower. Two, three, four. We've got four more. And lower. And lift. And lower. And two more. Getting a good burn. Working this gravity to our advantage. And last one, whoops, and down, two, three, four. Great, standing on one leg. Bring your hands to your side, you're standing on one leg. You're just extending the leg out in front of you. I'm gonna show you from the side. You're not straightening it all the way, but most of the way, and then bend it back in, and straighten it out. 
and bend it in. Hold onto a wall or a chair if balance is an issue for you, but use it only as much as you need to. Try to challenge your balance without risking falling, of course. Four more, one, two, three, and four, good job. And so what it would look like if this was really challenging for you and the wall or the chair wasn't cutting it, you can sit in a chair and do the quad extensions or you can lower your legs. So you can just do it right here. We can be here and it's great, but otherwise try to challenge yourself and let's do the other side. One and two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Set that leg down. We're going to come into a little bit of a hamstring here. So just a final stretch here. So standing up nice and tall, just how we started. Just coming into your forward roll down. Inhale, feel nice and tall. Feel even in your feet. As you exhale, you're going to nod your chin to your chest. Round your shoulders, come up and over your feet. Oh, that feels better than when we started, doesn't it? Inhale on in the stretch. Exhale, rolling all the way up. Until you're standing nice and tall, bring your arms out to the side. We're going to do little circles about the size of a basketball. So little circles. One, two, three, four, slow, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Twelve, thirteen. We'll do fifteen. Fourteen, fifteen. Switch and go the other way. Two, three, four. Pull those abs in. Five. Stand tall. Six. Height through your spine. Eight, nine. 10, five more, two, three, four, five. Bring the arms all the way up, clasp them together up overhead. Separate your feet just a little bit into a nice little side bend stretch and over to the other side. Now we moved your spine in every direction. We worked those slow twitch muscle fibers. You are going to have wonderful endurance for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me for this weekly program, and I'll see you next time.